Welcome to RC Scientific. Crawler shocks need to have a large vertical deflection travel to allow them going over large obstacles. This property is called flex or articulation. The flex can be measured by lifting one wheel and tilting the crawler until any other wheel tends to take off. The flex is a function of the maximally possible deflection in the springs, the lateral distance between the springs and the lateral wheel base. It can be approximated by this simplified formula. The flex can be increased, for example, by increasing the wheel base. This improves the performance of the crawler with respect to its sideward tilting tendency and the overcoming of obstacles. Let's go into more detail. The wheelbase can be computed by the outer wheel distance and the tire thickness. Now we consider two cases. First, let's lift one wheel while keeping the body horizontal. The tilting angle gamma is the angle that appears when maximally flexing and extending the left spring and right spring respectively. Gamma can be computed by the sign rule as we know all lengths of this rectangular triangle. In the second case we now tilt the body while keeping all wheels on the ground. This yields to the same rectangular triangle in which we can express gamma in the same way as before. Now let's simulate a flex test. First lift the frontal wheel but don't tilt the body and then lift the frontal wheel further by tilting the body. This leads to a tilting of the front axis of 2 times gamma. The flex can be determined again by the sign rule using the expression of gamma as derived before. Let's now test this formula with three RC crawlers by measuring real dimensions using the formula for the flex and comparing the results with the measured flexes. By the way, applying some numerical linearization tricks, the sign formula can be simplified to this equation, which works also well to approximate the flex values.
as you see, the math model works well to predict the real flex values. This allows us to use the formula to optimize and increase the flex even without further measurements, for example by increasing the lateral wheelbase. And you see, even with the wider crawler, the model works well to predict the real flex. The flex can also be improved by increasing the spring deflection or by reducing the lateral spring distance. Thanks for watching.